uh, at 11 and 12, or sorry, 12 and 13. There's a little bit of a skill gap. So one of these two players, whoever loses, is gonna have to play against either S2J or Chubug oh. and Oak. As I'm just yapping, <laughs> Nikki's already down in Anna. Yeah. This is also tough too, like when you just consider where Nikki is from, right? Like there are not many people in like his area where he gets to get like super high level practice like this as often. I think like he really has like an entire country behind him where he needs to, you know, make some moves happen here. I mean, there's some solid Fox in Germany, like Rix and Astar, right. both top 20 in, uh, on the EU rank. And, he has uh, like an entire union behind him at this point, oh, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. there's a the series powers. of country. Yeah. Germany's a pretty good region too, like when Irfan came to, uh, what is it, Irfan, I think number six in Germany, mm -hmm. uh, he came to Gommel and beat Moth, so. But I think what's tough, like what I'm trying to get at there is like with, with any international competitor, right, like you're going all the way across the country to go to this event. It's like you really want to come out with something to prove here. Oh, for sure. It's like you cannot afford to go 0-4 in of your course, pools, yeah. even if they're close matches, because you don't have that many opportunities to travel. And it's like you have the entire country on your back or even the continent on your back, because all of the European players get assessed, like, on a ranking based on yeah. how you do. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good point. Yeah, you're, you're comparison. He's kind of the, the measuring stick that people are, if, you know, if you're able to beat Nikki, then and Nikki gets ranked, then that shows how good you are. Um, that said, you know, I think Nikki has impressed a lot of people. I know Reddit had a, what like, a RSSBN yeah, had a whole thread point. saying, you know, of how much they appreciate Nikki coming here. So a lot of people in Nikki's corner right now, which is kind of rare for Ice Climbers, let's be real. So Nikki's um, the icon of the daily discussion thread. <laughs> self <-proclaimed. laughs> So Let's see if he can hold up to it though. All that being said, Zamu's playing this quite well so far, but Oh, oh again. Oh, another, for up another yeah. jump from Zamu. That was so smart. And now gets the back air. Still gotta close out the edge guard with Sopo of all things. But what oh, he had oh. the read. It's so hard to it's so hard to edge guard Fox to Sopo. Like legit impossible. One thing we haven't talked about is like generally speaking, players are usually pretty good at matchups where they played the other side of it. And of course we haven't talked about it yet, but Nikki was a Fox main, uh, was ranked uh, top 100 as a Fox main. So this is the kind of matchup that he's probably like, I know exactly what Fox wants to do here. Yeah, for sure. Gotta leverage that. But it's also like Icy's Fox. It's a pretty bad matchup for Icy. Yeah, no so kidding. no matter how good you are at it, like you can lose. Yeah. Uh, Preeminent speed of Nikki this year is uh, at the collision free local. So it's not, it's not like he's flawless versus Fox or anything. I was going to say, all that might be true, but at the end of the day, like, Zamu can still shine oh, Nikki yeah, once and, and you lose your backup climber, but... And Zamu's pretty good at the matchup, too. Uh, she beat Moth at Warehouse War mm -hmm. and was telling me that she thinks that she might just 3-0 Nikki today. Yeah, this is rough. Yeah, at really high percents when you get an upper as Icy's, Fox just gets to land for free. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So it's a little unfortunate when he is uh, at Marth Rite's percent. Yeah, this is a, oh wow, nice tech as well. What an angle. It's such a brutal position for Icy's, right? Like you're looking for stray aerial with like one or both climbers at this point. Yeah. But back air is like a little bit reactable. Like you can kind of get in through that. We saw Zamu get in. Ooh, 220 Zamu after the hit. Zamu, man. <laughs> so surprised. That was such a crazy DI mix up. The back throw, uh, back throw smash attack. And this is where the War of Attrition part really comes in for a matchup, right? Like your solo climber at kill percent right now against a fresh Zamu stock. And like you don't really have that many options to recover because once you've committed to the side B, Zamu can just back air over and over nice. again. Yep. So all you do is air dodge. I think the big thing that we've been missing is like if this was a puff on screen, we'd say they haven't hit any big rests because it's an icy. It's like we haven't seen those big kind of handoff combos, the the super intense punishes that uh, when you're playing ICs, you're really playing around. Um, so right. Zamu just really doing a great job of of not kind of giving Nikki what he wants. That, but uh, yeah, that, that's a product of the no matchup jokes. as well, though. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, great save. Yeah. Because, like, I don't, Nikki <gasps> doesn't really play for grab. Wait, there we go. Off Nana, though. Yeah. yeah, like, the thing that really separates Nikki. Oh! oh! Beat him up! Beat him up! Let's go! Crazy DI mix up. One for the early smash attack, knowing that Zamu would be DIing out, uh, expecting a forward throw dash attack. Because Nikki does a forward throw reverse dash attack, which we'll see later on, especially okay. on the D. But I'll talk about it when it happens. You're kind of like running out of, okay, and that's going to be a KO off the top of the backup climber. I was going to say you're running out of opportunities to use your backup climber as bait to find a free grabber down smash. Oh, oh. Now you just got a raw outplay if you're Nikki. Which she might be doing. I was going to say, we might be watching that happen, you know, as you say that. Okay. Oh, huge, huge knockdown, but the oh. pushback from the get up attack, that's so brutal. I wonder if that was like a shield DI issue, like holding in just a bit more would have kept you in the right spot. Oh, Great mix up. And covers the ledge. Got oh, it. Wait, that's, that's it. That's it. That's Look it. Grab ledge. Zamo, she's just like. She looks devastated. She just sunk into her IKEA hat. 
The stock before that was actually really crazy, right? Because Nana get up attack from ledge, and uh, I think Zamu drop shield, which kind of like allowed Nikki to begin that comeback. That's really crazy. Huge implication now too, because it means we don't get FD for game two. You see that badge on Nikki's uh, on Nikki's chest? It's his talent for a reason. Nice. <laughs> I mean, this is one of those moments where like, like. The mental damage there, Zamu looking really visibly frustrated, upset, um, and I feel like if you've ever played in ICs, even someone as nice and kind of straightforward as Nikki, I feel like that's kind of the thing they're looking for, is like start to get a little flus flustered, start to force things. So we're looking into this game, is uh, Zamu able to kind of stay composed uh, and not, you know, kind of let Nikki oh, run away no. with it. But it's like it's the aura, right? Because it, it, it's like losing to a Bowser. Losing to the Sopo is way different than losing to an yeah, Icy. Right. Uh, yeah. And it wasn't like a cheese or anything. I mean, ask Nikki Hugo about that. Really. Like, he, he, he literally, like, still gets, you know, jokes about it. It's, it he it was just, just got one. Yeah, and you know, like, clearly, like, Nikki Sopo is good, so. It has to be. I mean, in this day and age, right? Yeah. Here we go. Randall's in the mix. Oh, nice recovery. Crazy recovery. It's so hard for Isis to like to get any sort of punish off that. Like even oh. Zamu's face right there, just getting grabbed by Sopo was like, oh, so oh, no. The pressure of playing Isis specifically is so rough. Ooh, little yeah. little slip hog coming through, but and you get a grab after no. Yeah, I think the thing that really separates Nikki from like the wobbling era Isis is he doesn't actually play around grabbing the box match. Right. Like he typically will try to go for stray smash attacks, uh, short up up airs. Sometimes you okay. Wait this a is, second. This could this be is stock, the yeah. Fourth right, throw. The fourth throw. Yeah. Oh. Oh, dropped. Oh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You still have time though, especially with the knockdown. Yeah. He's juggling. Uh, okay. They shine though. It's actually really hard to snap to ledges uh, ICs in the moment, so good stuff for doing it. Easy peasy. Okay. Mistake on the handoff, but still doesn't amount to too much of a punish for Zamu. Ooh, where's the backup climber going? Nice. You see, every ice, like so many ICs see the box and shield there and will just insta grab. Nikki waited, and then Zamu full hopped out of shield, because what are you going to do to beat the grab? You full hop, and Nikki got a punish off of it. Yeah, and the Sopo is back once again, kind of trying to push the lead. Getting any percent here is incredibly valuable. Oh, Yoshi's is a yeah. cool mistress. I think back to uh, the very, very, very old Wobbles Ice Climbers guide on Smash Boards, and it was basically oh. that point, right? Where he's like, oh, okay, like, if they think you're a big grabber, just start down smashing more. <laughs> if they think you're a big down smasher, just start grabbing more. It's that easy. Zamu looks like she's warming. She is really struggling. Like. Like just, it's yeah. a it's a it's a really brutal match because there's like so few ICs nowadays, uh, especially ones at really high level. And she was confident going into this matchup as someone who beat Moth last time they played. Well, this is gonna be stock but, though, very close. You're at close to the edge of the platform, but it shouldn't matter. Nikki up to zero. Wow. Yeah. All I'm gonna say is wow. Honestly, like uh, kind of rough to watch. I, I feel like uh, I'm hoping that uh, Sam was able to kind of like get back in the game, kind of stay composed, because Melee is just, it's just, it's tough. I, mean, I might be that, biased, that's the kind of stuff. you can see that, how, like, we can say, oh, I feel really bad for Zamu, like, it's so hard for Fox, but, like, Nikki just died at zero. Oh, no, no, I don't mean yeah. it in the matchup way. Like, I'm not saying, like, man, what a, what a hard matchup. How do you possibly do this? I'm more just, it's tough to see any player that's kind of, like, yeah, looking, oh, looking okay. cluster. Okay, do, do you yeah, yeah. okay I get enough. I don't mean this in the matchup yeah. way at all. Like, I think we kind of talked about this in the, uh, Triff Cody set yesterday, Radar, where, you know, went down to the very last hit, Trip barely brought it back, and we're like, if you lose Ooh, that game, like, the blow to your mental is so difficult sometimes. Yeah. It's, like, almost insurmountable in some situations. And there's situations like that where, like, Randall saves you, and you're like, yes, and then you drop it, and you're like, it would have been better if I just died sure, there. Sure. Generally, yeah. like, you, you have these kind of, I don't know. It's like the, you feel that you could have done something. Exactly, and the it's like... It's been getting wobbled in handoff. Yeah. For what some people say, because that's, like, an argument that people uh, have for... Not looking wobbly. Mm -hmm. Nice up there, though. And Zamu's back in it. Yeah. Let's but see. maybe starting to regain some of her composure here. Almost a cliche at this point, but the two games on FD, that is a, a mountain to climb. You know, you don't want to be going down 2 0 to ICs kind of really ever. I feel like the FD game is uh, the bane of everyone trying to get 100 wins right now. You know, yeah. it's just uh, <laughs> brutal. Low key, those sta the staggered ice blocks when. Oh, wow. The staggered ice blocks when uh, Nano was on the platform really and Popo, yeah, when Popo was underneath, ex extremely good coverage. Just want to point that out. 
Okay, there's a down smash you mentioned before. Most people just rip the grab. Yeah, I feel like Zamu's not really covering ledge very well. <laughs> what? And, oh! Okay. It's it's so hard, it right? Is. Like, he's just solo climber. There's nothing to keep You can't to reversal it. And that should be a dead Nana. Just, oh! Oh, what a uh, four tilt. Yeah, it prevents uh, Zamu from jumping off stage and shining. Oh, man, even the get up attack from Nana. Oh, wow. That's really hard to punish. Once yeah. Box get up attack That's the, the lack of friction makes it so that these, like, uh, grabs that most other characters would be able to get, they get pushed back. Exactly. Oh, okay, the Nana. the yeah. attack. Now he's going to have to do this with all soap if he wants to get a 3-0. And, oh. It's just so, like, this matchup is so brutal because you get a grab, like, what do you get off? Back throw, Blizzard. Oh, hot oh, jump. I'm back throw Blizzarding all day. <laughs> uh, that's the cheeser within me. Oh, great call. That's the oh, next one will do, but. Randall, it doesn't yeah. matter. That okay. was so crazy. I think that he waited for Randall to make it ambiguous whether or not he'd side beat to Randall or side beat to stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you could also, like, air dodge at that point, too, now that you see that Randall's coming out. Yeah. But... You Alas. can air dodge to Randall or air dodge uh, and grab ledge again because mm -hmm. Icy's got to be a little bit creative when they have to recover because they have such limited options. All right, potentially two FDs Zamu has to face down if she wants a chance for the reverse 3 0. And this stage is kind of crazy for Nikki specifically because he has so many cool setups on FD to get re grabs that most uh, Icy's don't do. Uh, for example, the low percent uh, down throw up smash at literally zero, he gets re-grabs off of it and then can do forward throw dash attack or forward throw reverse dash attack and get another re-grab off of it so he doesn't have to do RNG handoff center stage. Mm -hmm. We'll see if he does any of these. Oh, hey, good and start the set gone. so far. <laughs> and it's gone. Oh, that was great DI and Zamus for making it difficult for Nikki to do either a dash right. attack or an up smash. Yeah, it's dash attack on hard DI out, and then no, you just do up smash. But So as someone else who's played both Ices and uh, Fox, what do you feel like if you were to give a ratio to this specific stage in the matchup, like what would that ratio be? I think Fox wins on every stage. On every stage, And destroys okay. Ices. I personally think Fox is potentially the best matchup in the game against Ices, more than Peach. Uh, but this is like, there's no platforms to, for Fox to dash dance on. There's some guaranteed follow ups that uh, ICs have that you can't get rid of because of platforms. Yeah. So you could hear her for slapping. Yeah. Henry hits like, that. Said. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Just coming in with little Great nuggets stuff. of wisdom. I That's like all it. I'm here for is That's the nuggets. Good. They actually have that on my contract. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, I How many do nuggets? Seven nuggets a day. Yeah? Yeah. What do you have right now? Three. Oh, that was crazy. You got another one for you gotta pump up those numbers, you know? Like. Awesome novel. And oh! Gosh. He sweated it. You made it. German engineering on that handoff. Uh, handing off at that part of the stage isn't guaranteed that Nana's going to do the, the good throw, right? Yes. No. So was that risky? Was there any risk in doing another iteration? Uh, I think he was doing it for swag, but also uh, he wasn't going to get the kill off of, unless there was a DI yeah. mix-up. If he was getting really? Hard uh, forward smash at 100? Yeah, I guess you have to edge guard. I, I get it. Yeah, which is very hard to do against Fox. Yeah, you can survival DI. It's true. Really hard. Nope. This is probably oh. just stock, right? Okay, enough time. Great. It's actually yeah. really important to crouch tech chase ICs because ICs have a really fast getup attack. Uh -huh. So you need to crouch cancel to get it. Some other characters, like, you know, you can, like, shield or whatever, but no, you have to. Yeah, like a shield on reaction. Yeah. Yeah. The two stocks, two game. And Nikki really wants an up air. Oh, got down. the wrong shine. You'll see he's not really going for run up grab. Like, he's doing up throw back. Oh! Oh, hand off. Yep. Yep. That should be it. Yeah, this should be a kill. When Zamu went for just run shine there, I think it's pretty hard to get the, the shine you want if you do running shine. So you should probably, like, some people do just a nair and then, like, either a shine or, like, a. Yeah, like, like what, like what Zamu went for there. Exactly that. Exactly that. Yeah. Zamu, Zamu hurt been, me. Yeah, I feel Zamu like Zamu's been me. so efficient at. That was my fourth nugget. Ba yeah, nice. <laughs> I totally agree. Like, killing the backup climber, Zamu's been super on point against, but Nikki's neutral with solo climber has been incredible. I mean, that's something you hear with Icy's all the oh, time, it where it's be. like, you know, the people who are winning have a fantastic Sopo yeah. as well as kind of with both climbers. There is a, um, you know, Kingu, the yep. UK box player? Uh, he put out a tier list of the players uh, in Europe based on how honest and how cheese they are. And he had <laughs> Nikki at S tier for honesty despite playing Icy's. That's beast. That's, for a high, that's a high compliment. For honesty. Yeah. Oh, for okay. Honesty. This is huge, though. No way. Oh! oh. 
Oh. Oh, but the oh, gets out. Yeah, yeah. Gets out. The gods getting Zamu out of that one. And I was looking for forward throw, right, Justin, to try to just get handoff okay. positioning, but yeah. here we go. Zamu's DI the dash tags well. You have to slight DI them. Oh, oh that's, that's gonna gonna be it. That's yeah, it should be. Surely. And Nikki, three to one, saving himself from relegation. You don't want to be relegated. Bump there, you don't you know. want to be relegated. You don't, don't want to be delegated. And really, all the other words that rhyme with that. Mm -hmm. Smelligated. Go on.